Welcome to the Old Time Radio Westerns. I'm your host, Andrew Rines, and I'm excited to bring you another episode absolutely free. This episode is one of many released every month, totaling over 80 episodes so far. Each one is meticulously digitally restored and stored in the cloud for your convenience, a process that incurs costs. To help cover these expenses, you might hear some advertisements throughout the episode. While we do retain the original commercials for historical authenticity, you may also encounter modern ads, which help keep the lights on. If you prefer an ad-free experience, we offer a couple options. You can listen to the episodes on YouTube. You can also support us by becoming a patron on our Patreon page. For more information, go to otrwesterns.com slash donate. Again, otrwesterns.com slash donate. I do want to emphasize that we are committed to providing this content to you for free, but also we have to be transparent about the financial realities to bringing this to you. Now, let's get into this episode. This episode is going to be The Lone Ranger. Original air date is September 3rd, 1947, and the title is Frontier Town Judge. Thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoy. Fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. One Silver! Let's go, be close! I'm Silver! Hooray! Powderhorn County Courthouse at Frontier Town was crowded to capacity to hear Judge Knott pass sentence on Red Banning and Sam Thatcher. Prisoners will stand and face the court. Banning and Thatcher, you have been tried and found guilty of the charges as in the indictment. It is the sentence of this court that you spend the next 20 years in prison at hard labor. Take them away, Sheriff Taylor. We'll get out. When we do, we'll get you, Judge. And Sheriff Two-Gun Taylor as well. All 
right, in you go. Watch it. Right. Lock him up, guard. Right. Step inside. Take your oh, hands yeah. off. These two are downright rough hombres, so watch him close. They're to start on the rock pile in the morning. Let them get some practice while they're waiting for transfer to the territorial prison. Right. Come on, guard. I'll tell you all about him before I leave. Right, Sheriff. You heard that, Red? Yeah, the rock pile in the morning. That's just what I counted on. <laughs> What's funny about it? Well, you see, Sam, we got a good friend that's to help us. Just you wait till we get on that rock pile. The next morning at daybreak, Red and Sam were taken to work on a pile of rocks where the Overland Trail crossed the tracks of the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad. They managed to detach themselves from the other prisoners and the guards as they worked on the rock. Keep working, Sam. We don't want the guards to pay no special attention to us. Keep close to me. Uh, hey, what's up? I'm working toward that rock that's got the smear of white paint. You see it? Yeah, yeah, I see it. My pal Bart put that smear of paint there. What for? Now, do you see what's under the rock? How much longer I gotta wait? Just a second now. Any guards looking this way? No. Keep watch till I shove the rock aside. I'm watching. Here we are. Guns. Right. Here, grab one. Now we vamoose. Hey, take it! Come on, Sam. Stay with me. I'm with you. Keep your head low and we'll make our getaway. Watch got a hideout for us. It was several days after the escape of the prisoners when the Lone Ranger rode through the enchanted hills some distance north of Frontier Town. He headed for a secret hideout, where Tonto, who had been visiting his friend, Chief Flying Arrow, was waiting. Oh, sir, oh boy, he's telling me, fellow. Come plenty past Kimasabi. What matter? Tonto, we have a trail to follow. What trail? Banning and Thatcher. Them two crook in jail. They were in jail for less than 24 hours. They escaped. Oh, that bad. They have an accomplice on the outside. He left guns where they could find them. They killed the guard, but they won't stop with that. They've sworn to get Judge Not. Judge, heap good feller. We've got to find those two before they get him. Uh, how you hear of escape? I heard Two-Gun Taylor, the sheriff, talking about it. In fact, I rode with his posse until the trail was lost. You ride with posse with mask on face? <laughs> no, Tonto. I wore other clothes in town. Clothes that a wrangler might wear. Oh. Saddle up, Tonto. I'll show you where the lawman lost the trail. We've got to carry on from there. After hiding in the hills, until they were sure they'd thrown off all pursuers, Red and Sam made their way to an old shack near an abandoned silver mine. Bart Henley was there waiting for them. Come on in, boys. All right, Bart. Glad you got here. Hi, Bart. Didn't bring horses, did you? No. They leave tracks that are hard to hide. That's right. Now, if you boys will just pay up what you promised, I'll fix you up with grubbing horses so you can head north and keep going. We'll pay up, all right. You'll have to wait till we can cash in on our freedom. Mm -hmm. Meaning what? A stage holdup's as good as anything. But before we do anything else, I got a score to settle with Judge Knott. I promised that critter something, and I aim to keep my promise. Judge Knott's left Frontier Town. Be gone until Friday. Oh, four days to wait. I can hide you so as no man can find you. Of course, uh... It'll cost you $50 a day. It's worth that to get the judge. Fair enough. How can you hide a spot? <laughs> Red, I fixed this shack upright. When I show you what I got, you can spread the word. Just let it be known that any hombres that are likely to tangle with the law in Frontier Town had better get in touch with me. I'm useful to them. Show me what you got in the way of a hideout. Come over here. See that bunk? Uh-huh. Looks like it's built right onto the floor, don't it? Isn't it? <laughs> Sometimes looks are deceiving. Now, you, Sam, uh, grab hold of the bunk there at the end. Like this? Yeah. Now swing it out. Pull it around towards you, just like you would a gate. Huh? It's solid. <laughs> Go on, pull. 
Well, uh, I'll try. Well, doggone. Oh, gosh, it, it moved. Hey, Red, look what's under it. Well, I'll be... What? You fix that hole by yourself? <laughs> sure. Dug it out and dumped the dirt in that gully outside. Fix that ladder so as you can climb up or down any time. We'll keep watch. If we see anybody coming, we'll just swing the bunk out. You fellas climb down into that hole, and I'll put the bunk back in place. <laughs> and if you can be found, I'll walk to Frisco barefoot. Doggone slick. That takes care of hiding you. Now, you said you wanted to fix the judge. That's the only reason we're staying around. You're going to owe me a pretty penny for your services, Rendage. You know that, don't you? We'll pay. Don't you worry about that. I'm not. I'm just thinking I can fix it so as you'll get the cash to pay me and uh, take care of the judge at the same time. How? Look up there on that top shelf. What? Blasting powder. Plenty of it. You seem to have a plan all worked out, bud. What is it? Look here on this map. Now, uh, here's the tracks of the railroad where they run between the old abandoned silver mine and the Powderhorn River. You see them? Yeah. Now, there's a place right here where those tracks run along a shelf with a cliff on one side and a 300-foot drop into the river on the other. All you've got to do is light the fuse to a keg of blasting powder... And drop it on the tracks just ahead of the train. Say, that sounds all right. Smart. Judge Nott will be on that train. And so will a lot of others. And many of them carrying considerable cash. You will have plenty of time to make your way down to the Powderhorn River and go through the pockets and bags of the people who are on the train. But you're all right. Doggone smart, as I said before. All you boys have got to do is stay here in hiding until Friday when Judge Nott's train is due. It was a couple of days later when the Lone Ranger and Tonto brought their horses to a halt within view of the miner's shack snuggled into the hillside. Oh, sir. Oh, sir. Oh, fella. Easy, oh, fella. Well, this is where the tracks stopped, Tonto. We're lucky to have been able to follow them this far. Tracks head straight for cabin over yonder. That's where they were heading. But uh, Red and Sam may have gone past the cabin and headed deeper into the hills. You know who live in old cabin? No, but we'll find out. Now, you stay here among the trees. I'll go on alone. Well, maybe better me go with you. No, Toto. If Red and Sam are in that shack, I may run into trouble. It'll be better if you're here to cover me. Ah, uh, me savvy. Good. Come on, Silver. The masked man was closely watched as he advanced on a small building. When he came close and reined up, oh, he saw the door swing open. And Bart appeared with a shotgun in his hand. I see you, mister. Get him up. Steady, Silver. Put the shotgun down. You stay back. Stay where you are. Keep off this port. Take it easy. I, I'm i here for information, and I think you can give it to me. I'm not giving nothing unless it's a charge of buckshot. I got no time for mass, men. I, you're Bart Henley. What if I am? What are you doing in the neighborhood of Frontier Town? What's it to you? And how do you know about me, anyhow? Who are you? The last time I saw you, you were some distance north of here. You were just two jumps ahead of the law. Well? You seem to have increased your lead. Are they still hunting you? No, I'm in the clear. Very well, Bart, that suits me. The men I'm looking for are not in the clear. Maybe you saw them. How'd I know? Their names are Red Banning and Sam Thatcher. I never heard of them. Our trails crossed and I turned them over to the law in Frontier Town. They broke loose and headed this way. When they go back, they'll hang for murder. I'm not interested in what other people do. I'm telling you, Bart, simply so you'll know where you stand. A man can hang for hiding a murderer. You wouldn't want to hang, would you? I don't aim to. Say, are you a lawman or what? I'm on the side of the law. Well, I'm living here alone, and I don't like company. And if it'll get rid of you any quicker, you're welcome to step inside and look around. Thanks. Thanks. What's more, when you go back to Frontier Town, you can tell that Sheriff Two-Gun Taylor he's he's slipping when he sends a masked man out to do his snooping. <laughs> I'll tell Two-Gun he's slipping. You have quite a bit of blasting powder there. 
Can you think of any better way for a man to bust up ground when he's looking for silver ore? So you've got in for mining, huh, Bart? Yeah. You said you were living alone. Well? The uh, dirty dishes there. Quite a few for just one man. It looks to me as if you might have cooked for a couple of friends. I don't care how it looks to you, mister. As to them dishes, what's it to you if I let them pile up two or three days before I wash them? It's nothing to me, Bart. Then shove on. I intend to. But if you see Red and Sam, you might tell them that they'll hang before they can get Judge Nott. Uh, as for you, if you've been hiding them, you'll hang with them. <laughs> as if I didn't know who he is. You can come out of hiding, boys. He's gone. Come on out and take a look at me. The man that outsmarted the Lone Ranger. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. After riding away from the shack near the abandoned silver mine in the Enchanted Hills, the Lone Ranger and Tonto made camp on a ledge overlooking the tracks of the railroad. Meanwhile, Red and Sam had come out of the hiding place beneath the bunk. <laughs> now we could hear every word you said, Bart. By thunder, you sure handled that mask, hombre. I was uh, might scared for a minute when he saw the extra dishes on the bench there. Yeah. He didn't scare me none. You sure handled him, Bart. I gotta take my hat off to you. Yeah, just one thing that bothers me, boys. What's that? That lone ranger's still around this neighborhood, and he recognized me. You heard him mention the chance that I'd get my neck stretched for hiding you two. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now I'm not gonna feel easy until he gets what we're aiming to give Judge Not. You'd like to have us do a job for you, huh? You owe me plenty. <laughs> I don't mind paying off in service instead of cash. You're aiming to drop a keg of blasting powder in front of the train on Friday? Yeah. How'd it be if I fixed it so the Lone Ranger and his engine pal were on that train? Bart started out early the following morning. He had little difficulty in finding the tracks of Silver and Skulk, the horses of the Lone Ranger and Tonto, and following them to the masked man's camp. Well, Bart, I'm not meeting you at the point of a shotgun. I'm sorry about that, mister. Oh. But how was I to know who you were? All I could see was a masked man on a white horse. I didn't realize until you rode away that you're the man I'd heard about. Then I knew we were on the same side of the fence. What does that mean? I said it was... Look here, uh, you've been around a lot. You've seen all kinds of men. You've seen good and bad. You've seen good men go bad and bad men... Well, you must have run into cases where men that had gone wrong turned over a new leaf. Meaning yourself? Yes. Bart, if uh, you're on the level, I'll help you in any way I can. You spoke of a couple of killers. Yes, Red Banning and Sam Thatcher. Yeah, and after you rode away and I realized who you were, I figured the best thing I could do was to come after you and tell you the truth. Red and Sam passed my place. In fact, uh, they stopped there and wanted me to hide them. When was this? A couple of days ago. You didn't hide them? Oh, no. I didn't let them in the house at all. But they told me their plans. 
they're out to kill Judge Knott. They aim to head north as far as the junction. They'll disguise themselves there and get aboard the southbound train on Friday. Somewhere's between the junction and frontier town, they're going to get the judge. I see. You can check it easy enough. All you got to do is get aboard that train a few miles north of here. It may take a while for you to locate Red and Sam because they'll be pretty well disguised. Oh, maybe we find them north in Junction. You might. But then I'm not dead sure they'll board the train there. They may ride farther north or they may get aboard this side of the Junction. But if you're on that train between the Junction and town, you will find them sure enough. Thanks. Now I better get back to my place. Steady, boy. Adios. Adios. Get up, boy. Get up. What do you think of them, huh? I don't know what to think, Toto. There's something wrong somewhere. I can't put my finger on it. I don't know what it is. But there's something about this situation that isn't right. Maybe Bart set trap, huh? He might. But on the other hand, he might be trying to reform. And if he is, he deserves all the help we can give him. Mm, that's right. Pack the duffel, Toto. Oh, we leave camp? Yes. Pack our gear and roll our blankets. We'll head for the junction and get aboard the southbound train. <laughs> they went for it, Red, hook, line, and sinker. They did, huh? You sure? You bet I'm sure. They'll get aboard the train at the junction and start looking for you two. I told them you'd be disguised, so they'll have to give a close look to everyone on the train. By the time they realize you're not aboard, it'll be too late for them to get off. They'll have to stay on straight through Frontier Town. <laughs> Only the train won't go as far as Frontier Town. Not on this trip. I hope there's enough blasting powder in a keg to blow her off the shelf. There's enough to blow the engine off, and the cars will follow. You two just take a place at the top of the cliff tomorrow morning... And see that the powder's exploded in front of that train. That'll square us with a judge and line our pockets at the same time. And get rid of the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger and Tonto rode north toward the junction. They rode slowly, and as they rode, the masked man did a lot of thinking. At one point, he was interrupted by Tonto... When we get on train, what we do with horses? Well, we might be able to put them in a boxcar, Tonto. Oh. If not, we'll leave them in the livery stable until we can get back for oh. them. That'd be all right. You've got plenty on mind, Kimasabi. Yes, I have, Tonto. I've had something on my mind ever since I left that shack where Bart is living. I don't know what it is. Oh. What you mean? Hard to explain. I saw something in that shack. Uh huh. You saw blasting powder. Yes, I know. That's easily accounted for if Bart is doing some mining. You see plenty dirty dishes. Bart accounted for those too. There's something else. I wish I could put my finger on it. The slow ride continued with periodic pauses to water the horses. The afternoon advanced and waned, and still the Lone Ranger could not rid himself of the vague feeling of uneasiness. A feeling that his subconscious mind held an important fact that refused to emerge. It was sunset, and there was a halt for the evening meal. You still try to remember what you see? Yes. Toto, Bart lied to me. I'm sure of it. I saw something that contradicts a story he told I have a feeling it was in his house that I saw it. Mm, what we do? There's not much we can do. We'll simply have to go on as we planned. But if we don't find Red and Sam on board that train, we'll return to Bart and question him some more. Ah. Blasting powder. Dirty dishes. Bart reforms. Wish I could put my finger on it. Temporary camp was broken, and the two continued toward the junction. Darkness overtook them on the trail. The Lone Ranger still pondered. Junction just ahead. We have plenty of time, Toto. Now we'll stop here long enough to fix the disguise. Hose and oh, 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 o
What time train do? It'll be along a little while if it's on time. Supposed to be in Frontier Town tomorrow morning. Oh. I think that we... What matter? Hello. I have it. What do you mean? Bart did lie. Now I can prove it. I'm sure of it. I've got to go back. You go back? Where? Back to Bart's house. Here, take this duffel. Uh Uh-huh. And what me do? You go on to the junction. Get on the train. Look for Red and Sam, just as we'd planned to. Uh Uh-huh. Me do it. I'll meet you in Frontier Town. All right, big fella. Come on, settle there. It was well that the masked man had conserved the strength of the mighty silver during the ride north. He called on all of the great horse's strength on the back trail, racing through the moonlit night toward the enchanted hills and the shack where he had talked to Bart. It was daybreak when he reined up. Oh, sir, oh, easy, steady, big fella. He hit the ground fast, hurried across the porch, and opened the door without pausing. Hey, what the... I want to talk to you. Now, no, wait, listen. Get out of that bunk. Now, look. On your feet. Start talking and tell the truth. Where are those two killers? Now, now look, look, mister. I, I told you. You told me you met them at the door. That you didn't let them into this place. It's true. I, I told them I was going straight. That's I... a lie. No, no, it it's isn't. It's a lie, Bart. Those dirty dishes prove it. Oh, look, I explained all of that. You ought to be at the junction now if you're going to get aboard. I came back from the junction. You said you didn't bother to wash dishes for several days. Well, listen to this. The dregs of coffee stand in the cup for several days. They dry up. Come over here. <laughs> Ah, oh, look at those cups. Three of them. And a little coffee left in each. What, uh, look at these plates. The remains of food on them still moist. Why, this is the remains of breakfast. The food on these plates was eaten within the past half hour. No, 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 no you're mistaken. I'm not mistaken. Where are Red and Sam? And what's become of the keg of blasting powder I saw the last time I was here? I... Uh, Talk! No, I... But take it! Uh, I'm wasting no time with you. Wait, for what? No, don't hit me. Don't hit me again. I'll talk. They made me do it. I had no choice. Where are those killers? Why did you send me to the junction? Why did you tell me you'd reformed? What's up? Give me a chance. Talk fast. There's the train, Sam. Get that keg of powder ready. It's all ready. All we got to do is light the fuse. Bart had it all done for us. Yeah. Now, the minute the train comes into sight down there on a the shelf... Right where the shelf rounds the bend, you light the fuse. I sure hope Bart's timing is right. It should be. He burnt enough fuse checking on it. That is. I got a match all set. There we are. Now get ready. When the fuse gets down to that point where Bart's tied the string, we drop her over the edge. Be careful we don't throw it out too hard. It'll go beyond the ledge into the river. We don't throw it at all. We just drop it. And then watch for the end of the Lone Ranger and judge not. Hey, look, Red. What the? It's a masked man. Shoot him. Let him have it. I'll get you. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, steady, big fella. Get away from there or the next bullets will hit harder. I'm dying. The powder. The powder. Get me away from it. My leg's busted. Get me out of here. It'll explode in a couple of seconds. I'll get the powder out of here. Hurry. Get me out of here. I'll get rid of it if the fuse will last just a couple of seconds. Hurry. Watch it. Don't try any more gun, player. I'll break your other arm. There she goes. Yes, and it's exploded harmlessly. I look down there and watch the train go by. Oh, my leg. There it goes. Judge Knott is on board. He'll be in Frontier Town to sentence you to hanging. My leg. My leg's busted. My arm. Do something for us. I'll dress your wounds and make you as comfortable as possible. But you'll have to be tied up. Just as I left Bart tied in his cabin. Oh, Bart, a double-crosser... He told us you'd be up at the junction and come back aboard that train. If he talked... He finally talked after he made the mistake that will hang him as well as both of you. Mistake? Yes. (laughs) He uh, forgot to wash his dirty dishes.
The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. This has been a presentation of otrwesterns.com, and we hope you enjoyed. Please take some time to like and rate our shows in your favorite podcast application. Follow us on Facebook by going to otrwesterns.com slash Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by going to otrwesterns.com slash YouTube. And send us an email, podcast at otrwesterns.com. You can call and leave us a voicemail, 707-986-8739. This episode is copyright under the attribution non-commercial share like copyright. For more information, go to otrwesterns.com slash copyright. Have a great day and thanks for listening.